barely catching their breath from the exhilarating ride of the Great Senate race, Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, and Liz Truss are thrust back into the whirlwind of action. The dust has barely settled when Boris, the man of the hour, and Liz, his formidable ally, part ways to return to their respective vehicles. Boris, his heart still pounding from the race, trudges back to his 57-plate Vauxhall Vectra, but rather than the sweet taste of victory, he's greeted with the sour sting of a parking charge notice affixed to his windscreen. A tidal wave of rage washes over him, and he launches into an impromptu tirade, vehemently asserting his credibility, despite the glaring lack of it. Meanwhile, the ever-resilient Rishi Sunak is embroiled in his own post-race debacle. His 63-plate Audi A4 has had an unfortunate brush with a Volkswagen Polo. With a sigh of exasperation, he steps out to confront the driver. The door of the Polo swings open, and out steps none other than Nigel Farage, a man who Rishi regards with less than warm feelings. A heated exchange ensues with accusations flying like arrows in a battlefield. Nigel, refusing to back down, counters Rishi's claims, insinuating the Audi driver is to blame. Tensions escalate rapidly, culminating in a WWE Smackdown-style dropkick from Nigel that sends Rishi sprawling on the ground. Rishi retaliates with a threat, a promise that his insurers will hear about the incident. But Nigel's heart skips a beat at the mention of insurance. He recalls his uninsured status, a consequence of an exorbitant quote he'd received, a quote that had quoted an astronomical £50,000, citing a high risk of a milkshake attack impeding the driver's vision. A risk Nigel was unwilling to pay for his VW Polo. In a panic, Nigel jumps back into his Polo and speeds off towards Rover Way. A South Wales police patrol noticing the quick exit springs into action and gives chase. Nigel, weaving through the traffic, narrowly avoids collisions with lorries, a testament to the Welsh government's incompetence and their failure to complete the A4232. In his panic, Nigel makes a wrong turn into a Tesco. Realising his error too late, he abandons his polo, sprinting inside the store and disappears into the customer toilets, hoping to evade capture. As the police patrol closes in, one can't help but wonder, will they find Nigel, or will he slip through their fingers, leaving us in suspense until the next thrilling episode?